And in the impact segment tonight, most of the polls show that African Americans will probably support President Obama next Tuesday by more than 90 percent, perhaps 95 percent this year. But one African American bishop in Virginia says voting Democratic is a terrible mistake if you're a black American. My name is Bishop E.W. Jackson, chairman of Ministers Taking a Stand with a message to Christians in the black community. It is time to end the slavish devotion to the Democrat Party. The Democrat Party has created an unholy alliance between certain so-called civil rights leaders and Planned Parenthood, which has killed unborn black babies by the tens of millions. Planned Parenthood has been far more lethal to black lives than the KKK ever was. And the Democrat Party and their black civil rights allies are partners in this genocide. They say opposition to same-sex marriage is the same as opposition to interracial marriage. That is an insult to human intelligence. It is a lie. No Christian should support this. Yet the Democrat Party has now declared same-sex marriage an official part of its platform. And black Christians remain in that party? The civil rights establishment has embraced the lies and betrayed the black community and God Almighty for 30 pieces of silver from the Democrat Party. We as Christians ought to know better. Shame on us for allowing ourselves to be sold to the highest bidder. We belong to God. With us now to react, Reverend Michael Walron, senior pastor at the First Corinthian Baptist Church in Harlem, New York, and Reverend Jacques DeGraff, a Fox News contributor. So, Reverend DeGraff, to begin with you. Your reaction to that? I'm Reverend DeGraff. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, my reaction is, you know, he mentions 30 pieces of silver. Yeah. And I wonder who paid for that. I wonder who this organization, this Stand Up for America, really is. Because if you're a Republican, you need to just say that. And if you say you condemn one party, then what is your constructive response to that? But let's deal with the uh, bishop's specific criticisms. Obviously, he's against abortion. Mm -hmm. and, he, and, he, and look, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, you have to know the Democratic Party has embraced Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. And they are all in, as they say, on the abortion rights platform. So does the bishop have a legitimate point there? Reverend DeGraff. Well, I, I think not. I think that, uh, first of all, I think African Americans are intelligent enough to make the decision, and as 95% of our community has made a decision, and they discern amongst the parts of public policy that the Democratic Party has. No one agrees with all of the points in either party. And so those people who, who, like myself, who feel differently about abortion don't reject the Democratic Party for one plank in its plank. But it's a big plank. It's, um, it, it is a plank. Mm -hmm. uh, Reverend Walmart. The bishop also objects to same-sex marriage, but mm -hmm. even more so, he objects to equating that with interracial marriage. Yeah. And he says that there just aren't any similarities because one is a skin color and the other is a lifestyle. And you say? Yeah, well, I, I say it is very difficult when you find yourself trying to compare whose oppression is better or whose oppression is worse. And I think by, and there are those who seek to make the comparison between the African-American struggle and those in the gay struggle and gay activists. Is that a, leg is that a legitimate comparison? I don't, I don't think it is. A, I, well, there are those who believe that they believe it's legitimate. But I think that when you get to a place where you begin to compare oppression, it is always destructive because now you have persons who have been systemically harmed and and. and and, and injured in this country, trying to get in a position where we see who's been hurt worse. Or who's All right, been so you hurt worse. kind of agree with the bishop on this one? No, I do not agree with the bishop on that one. Because his 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 stance, which is quite venomous, is that those who made the comparison, right, are completely out of line. Now, I wouldn't go as far as the bishop saying. I'm saying is that when you find yourself begin to compare oppression, there's a problem. But I think that there's another argument to there, not just with regard to interracial marriage or comparing it. I think the issue is dealing with the what is at the core of the construct, which is the notion of. Uh, same-sex marriage is comparable to African-American struggle. And you don't believe it is? I wouldn't, I wouldn't compare to any struggle. I okay. think everyone's oppression is But the is Democratic unique. Party, uh, you can't say that the party platform has embraced that, but certainly mm -hmm. they've embraced gay marriage. Yeah. So it's clear that uh, Bishop Jackson believes that the Democratic Party is going against Christian principles. Yeah. Yes. But you guys are both Christian pastors, mm -hmm. and you don't think the Democratic Party is. No. no I, I, On any I, level? 
I, I don't think, here, here's the thing, I don't think when we begin to talk about politics and how we choose elected officials, whether it be president or any other federally elected official, I don't know if historically in this country there's ever been a time where we just simply use as a litmus test one's religious uh, launching pad, so to speak, to determine whether or not that person is effective. Some do and some don't. Some do and some right. don't. But, 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 the other part, but the other part of this is this is not a choice between the Democratic Party and perfection. This is a choice between the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, who no one is arguing is offering reasonable choices for African American, which is why it is rejected so solidly. I might by argue the, that, but you're not in the African American community. <laughs> well, you I'm know, saying 95 percent of African Americans. Right, so you're saying the lesser of two evils here is the Democratic Party, is vis a vis African Americans. I'm saying that the Democratic Party has done enough mm -hmm. to, right. to to address and, and the concerns. Just let me be clear to the audience that. is working. The, oh, my argument would be, and it mm -hmm. would be for the sake of argument, mm -hmm. that a vibrant economy, that an economy based on capitalism and free flow um, into the consumer's pocket to make the economy move would benefit African Americans probably more than anyone else. If That's what my argument would be. If it, if it occurred equally. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's Jack, Jack Kemp opportunity. That opportunity yeah, you is create society, But it just has never happened. It just has never it happened. Has That's happened. why our right. unemployment rate is always higher, our education rate is higher, the income gap is higher, because these great theories, they're great American theories. We share those values, but they don't happen in real life. All right. Um, so you say that the bishop overdid it? I think the bishop clearly is, is biased because if the bishop was offering an alternative, then I could say there's some legitimacy in the way he goes about his I issue. I bet you he could, though. If, well, you got, he, if, he, if, he, if he all went out, I bet you he would well, have. Yeah, if we all went out. But he basically <laughs> saying in this speech, don't blindly follow this party if you're a Christian because it is taking some unchristian stance. Well, he's the, basically and, 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 saying that he supports the Republicans. Yes, and that's the, what he's saying. And the question would For be moral which, reasons. And the question would be reason. which party stands and upholds the, the banner of Jesus Christ more? I mean, is it the Republican Party or Democrat? And I don't think any party upholds that yeah, in the but way. I, you know, I'm a Catholic, and I, I, it would be hard for me to see Jesus Christ <laughs> walking into a Planned Parenthood clinic. Okay. Other than to try to convert them and to change, and I think change. it also would be difficult no, for you know, Jesus and that's to just walk. For me, and maybe everybody. Yeah, but I think it would also be difficult for Jesus to walk through communities that have been ravaged by poverty, where policies that have been inflicted in the past upon poor people in this country. Right, and that's why yeah. Christians are are bound to help those people. Right. Hey, very very good discussion, guys. Oh, yeah. I appreciate Thanks it very much. Nice to see you both. Directly